Agent Planet. The population of the UK is growing and people are living longer. Where people choose to live is changing too, with some places needing more homes than ever before. We need to build more homes and build them fast. Nightmare. Not as easy as gardening. Come on, Mr Tomato. Welcome to your new home. I mean, pot. Oh, hi, Agent Planet. Were you hiding inside that bag of fertiliser? Poo. Nice planting there. What was that about something being a nightmare? Not that I was eavesdropping or anything. Uh, just wondering how on earth people figure out where to build new homes. I mean, gardening's easy. I've been growing this tomato plant for a few weeks. It's much bigger now and needs more room, so I'm giving it a nice big new pot. You can't put humans in pots, though. How did you choose the new pot? Uh, I suppose I kind of know how big tomato plants usually get, so I picked one that was going to be just the right size. Good work. And I see you've got some seedlings there. In fact, lots of seedlings. Yep, carrots. They're still tiny, but there's lots of them. More than I expected, to be honest. They're looking rather crowded in that tray. Looks like they need a new home too. Yeah, they'll go to the vegetable patch. Dad's made it bigger so we can fit more veggies in. Do you see that what you're doing is exactly what town planners do? You're thinking about ways to make more space. Sometimes you can take an existing space and make it bigger. Villages become towns, towns become cities. Like making a vegetable patch bigger, so you can grow more plants. Exactly! We can also change existing buildings, add basements or extra storeys to make more room. Like me repotting my tomatoes. Hmm, you hardly need me to help at all. Now, if you've done all that you can to make things bigger and still don't have room, then planners need to think about new places to live. A new allotment or vegetable patch. Exactly. Although not saying that humans are like vegetables. Well, when you're a superhero, it's sometimes easy to get the two confused. Thanks a bunch. So what kind of places are there where planners can plan new vegetable patches? I mean, new homes? Well, there are places called brownfield sites. These are often disused or derelict areas within towns and cities, where perhaps a factory or other buildings once stood. And then there's greenfield sites, which is land that's never been built on. Greenfield? Is that different to the green belt? I've heard of that. I thought it was something to do with karate. Green belt is protected land. It's not normally possible to build on it because it's a way to conserve the countryside around cities. Doesn't it take a long time to develop new places? Mum's been on a waiting list for an allotment for ages. Good job we've got just enough room in the garden. You're a natural at this, aren't you? Exactly right. You can't just throw up new buildings overnight. Town planners are always looking ahead, seeing where the demand is likely to be so that they can plan for new places to be built in time. If you want a short-term fix... You need to make existing spaces bigger, creating more from what already exists. Spot on! Planners have to think about how long things will take and what and where demand will be. And, talking of time, time for me to go. Well, if you're going to disappear, maybe don't choose the fertiliser. Poo! Well, thanks again, Agent Planet. Now, let's sort out your bigger home, Mr Tomato. Agent Planet, created with support from the Royal Town Planning Institute. Find out more at funkislive.com slash agent. <laughs>